Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier, and in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Days Gone. Uh, the main theme from that, I've already done a cover, and lots of people have asked for the lesson for it, so today I'm going to teach you how to play it. Just before I do though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, if you could give me the thumbs up on the video and some comments. Let me know where in the world you're from, any song requests, put them in the comment section, I'll try and do a video for you. There's also some merchandise as well if you really want to help the channel out, t-shirts and mugs and stuff. Okay, so let's get down to it. So I've got guitar and standard tuning. Um, it's got five lines that we need to learn for it. The first line sounds like this. So for that I do a harmonic, starting off harmonic on the 3rd fret of the B string and I'm doing a pinched harmonic. So I'm touching the 15th fret and plucking it with my thumb really gently. If you wanted to you could literally just play the G3 or, uh, sorry the B3 or the B15, that would work as well. Okay, And then we get this D minor triad which is your first finger on D7, second finger on A8, little finger on E10. And then we've got an F over C, which is your first finger stays on fret seven of the D string. Probably put your second finger on E8 and third finger on A8. So that's the second chord, which is in bar three. And then bar four, we've got C5, which is like a power chord, which is your first finger E8, third finger A10, little finger D10 into the next bar, uh, it sort of switches round. So your third and fourth fingers go up a string and your first finger goes down. So you end up with E10, A10, and D8. And then we go to a B flat chord, B flat triad, which is your first finger A, sorry, your first finger on D3, third finger on A5, little finger on E6. So that's B flat, move up two frets in bar seven, and we've got a C triad, first finger D5, third finger A7, little finger on E8. Then we go down to an A minor triad, first finger A2, second finger on A3, little finger on E5, and then B flat, we've already done that. And then bringing the melody in, we've got G2 and G5. So let's try that whole line. And to the B flat. On to the next line. So this is where the melody part's sort of coming in. We've got So we're starting off, first finger is barred on the third fret from the D string, uh, and then third finger is on A5, and I'm playing the A string, the D string, and the B string at the same time. And then we play uh, B6, then B5, and we go to this like F over C triad that we hit in the first line, and then we play D5. A8, then we're going to do this shape, which is on in bar uh, 12, 7 on the D string, 8 on the E string, little finger on A10. Then D5, then we're going to do a little pull off. You could play it just normal if you wanted to, but I've done it as a pull off. Uh, I'm using my little finger on A8 my second finger on E6, and my first finger ready and waiting on A5. So you could do it as a pull off or you could play. 
and then into the next bar 14, your fingers are already there. A little hammer on going from seven to eight on the A string. Then you hold seven and eight, seven on the A string, eight on the E string. Down to fret five, then A3 and E5 at the same time. Back to fret seven on the A string, and then five and six on the A5 and E6 and then G2 and G5 to finish. So let's try that line, we've got. On to the next line, the first four bars are the same as the previous line. And then from bar 22 we get Oh, sorry that last chord. Uh, so bar 22 you've got 5 and 6, then you just hit A7, then E8 and A8 at the same time, then G5, E5 and D7, D5, D7 and then E6 on the top. So let's try the whole of that line. And then the next two lines, we're just going to play some chords. Um, I've just written the chords. I think in the when I, in the track, I kind of arpeggiated them a little bit. Uh, so you can just play around with the chords, or you can just you play the chords straight. So we've got D minor chord, first finger barred from A5 downwards, second finger on B6, third finger on D7, little finger on G7. Then this F shape, which is like a C shape bar chord. Uh, first finger's barred from the fifth fret of the G string downwards, second finger on B7, uh, sorry, B6. Third finger on D7 and little finger on A8. Then we go to C triad in the next bar. First finger barred on the sixth fret. Second finger on G9. Third finger A10. Little finger on D10. Then we've got G minor, which is your first finger A. Sorry, D5. Second finger on E6. Little finger on B8 third finger on G7. Then we're going to go to this B flat chord. You've got to go real high up for this. Sorry if you haven't got a cutaway. Um, so you, your first finger is barred on the 10th fret, second finger on the B11, third finger D12, little finger on A13. Two frets up, that same shape with for C chord. And we've got the A minor chord which is the same shape as the D minor but the 12th fret. And then a B flat chord, first finger barred on the 13th, third finger across D, G and the B strings at the 15th. So let's try that line, I'm going to put some arpeggios into it, uh, but you could play it nice and straight as well. So here we go. And then the last line, we've got uh, So for that, we've got a D minor chord, first finger, D12, second finger on E13, little finger B15, third finger G14. And then we go to uh, 13, 13, 14, 15, so an F chord, which is E13, B13, G14, and D15. And then I've gone C over E, which is your little finger E15, second finger B13, first finger G12, third finger D14. And then this last chord, E18 e with the little finger, then B15, G15, and D17. So that last line goes, Four. 
and that's the end. In the song, when I did it, I then just went back to, I think, uh, the second line and played from the second line onwards. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson of mine. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier. If you could give me the thumbs up, the like button, uh, leave me some comments in the comment section. If you really want to help me out as well, there's some merchandise, some t-shirts, some hoodies, some stickers, some mugs. Uh, all the proceeds help support this channel. Thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.